Back in high school, I was using my Canon Rebel T4i as my main camera. It actually helped me land a ton of projects for school, clients, and other pieces of work, but there was a lot of problems with it, like focusing was never working, the battery is dying slowly. I still have it, I actually have it right up there, but I needed an upgrade, and the upgrade was the Canon 90D. In this video, I'm gonna go over why it's my favorite camera. Hey what's going on everyone, this is Rich. I like making tech videos here on YouTube, so I appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button to stay tuned with what I got for you in the future. But anyways, let's get on to the Canon 90D. In a world of mirrorless cameras, why do they still make DSLRs? Because the Canon 90D combines mirrorless video and live view autofocus with classic DSLR handling. The first thing I love about Canon is that they're known to have one of the best sensors when it comes to colors. The 90D straight out of the box captures some seriously great footage. The detail and vibrancy of the photos you take with this whopping 32.5 megapixel camera produces some freaking sharp pictures. Not many other cameras are rocking that much megapixels, and while it is still a crop sensor, at the end of the day I believe it won't matter as much if you know what you're doing with this camera. Even if you compare to full frame versus a crop sensor camera, especially with the Canon 90D, I don't think you will find that much of a difference. The picture quality of this camera is also very unmatched. Now I do a lot of the street photography, so the extra megapixels and the auto white balance works great for me. I use the 90D for all my projects and it performs well in almost every scenario, from recording tech reviews, races, vlogs, nature, cityscapes, night or day, the 90D can handle it all. The Canon 90D also records up to 4K at 30 frames per second uncropped. Now that means your footage won't be any smaller. This is a pretty rare feature that's not on a lot of other cameras right now. I know other cameras like the Canon M50 or the Nikon Z6 crops when you're at 4K tremendously, but this camera doesn't. The second thing I love about the Canon 90D is the dual pixel autofocus. Now this is arguably one of Canon's fastest focusing cameras yet other than their mirrorless EOS R6. The focus this thing is just way too fast. It locks onto so many different subjects and it's wonderful. From looking at something far out in the distance to focusing to something maybe like a flower or a plant really close, it's super fast. And using this camera is just amazing. Now, the design of the camera is also very beautiful and ergonomic. The Canon 80D was very popular for its ergonomics. Many users praise that camera for feeling good in the hand, and the 90D is no different. The body is very much the same as the 80D with some very slight design changes. The size of the body makes it very nice for people of all hand sizes, and the concavity for your fingers to rest deeply and snug on the outside of the camera body just feels great. Also, the added rubber grip all around feels sturdy, premium, and comfy. It doesn't feel nasty like you're gripping something sticky, but it feels like a solid piece of gear with a luxurious build. The flip out touchscreen on this camera is also another major reason why this is amazing. This allows me to check on myself every single time I record myself making a video. Additionally, this rotating screen has helped me with the positioning of hard to reach areas, especially when I want to get low to the ground, I can flip the screen out and that saves me the trouble of bending down all the way. It's an awesome feature that Canon nailed down right, and it's an important feature that I believe many other cameras should start implementing too. It's a game changer, seriously. Also, I love Canon's menu screen. All of the settings and adjustments are spaced out right and are very easy to navigate. Anyone with some Canon experience can use Canon cameras because of how similar they are. Also, the fully articulating touchscreen just looks sharp. Everything from the menu icons to the playback photos really make me think if this screen is like 4K or something. Now, when you pair this camera with some cheap lenses like the 18 to 55 mm or the 50 mm lens, it does a job pretty well. The 90D feels light, ready to travel, and can take much better pictures than your phone or old DSLR. But when you pair this with a premium lens like the Sigma 18 to 35 mm f1.8, like I have here, this is a killer setup for almost everything, and this combo is way too sharp. I'll show you some footage here.
camera also pairs well with a Canon Connect, which is an app you can download on your phone. It's a really cool feature that on most Canon cameras, you can use your Bluetooth or Wi-Fi to connect so you can view and transfer your photos anywhere in a couple of minutes. You can also remotely control the camera from afar too, which is a really cool feature, except it's still kind of buggy. Now, like I said, it can take a couple of minutes to connect. This includes trying to connect to the camera and the phone, as well as transferring the photos over, but nothing too long. And the only other gripe I have with this camera is that when you pair it with the Sigma 18-35mm lens or any other premium lens, it does get kind of heavy, around 4-5 to five pounds. So when I'm carrying this around, the weight does add up over time, and this could also be considered a con when paired up against mirrorless cameras because of how lightweight they are. Overall, the Canon 90D is still my favorite camera. My friends have let me borrow their Sony A7R, the A6400, to some Nikons like the Z50. I also use a ton of Canon Rebels and some of the full frame versions like the 5D, the 7D Mark series, but nothing hits quite like home like the 90D. It's very, very similar to the Canon 80D, which was like the king of YouTube a couple years ago. Everyone like Casey Neistat, David Dobrik, Love Lift Surf is using the 80D, and the 90D just improves upon what the 80D has and just takes it way out of the ballpark it makes it even better. That being said, the 90D encompasses all of the favorite features I like about the camera. It just feels like a sturdy piece of equipment that will last years and even decades. It's got that great comfortable body, can record up to 4K at 30 frames per second, the dual pixel autofocus, the articulating screen, the 32.5 megapixel sensor, and overall it's just a really, really great camera. Ultimately, that's all I have for this week's video. I'm planning to use the 90D for a really long time. Hopefully my channel grows along with this camera. So if you guys made it to the end of the video, I appreciate it if you guys hit that like and subscribe button comment down below what camera you're using do you have this camera yourself you know what do you think about it even if you don't have this camera maybe you're here for fun you know just say something in the comment section i'll give you a reply so that's all i got for this week's video until next one i will see you guys then